So when Nike originally signed Michael Jordan all the way back in 1984, they originally projected that that first deal would roughly earn them somewhere in the ballpark of around $3 million in the span of over four years. Fast forward to the present day, Jordan brand earns Nike roughly $3 million almost every five hours. So it seems like that projection was just slightly off and uh, Jordan brand, they continue their success and they're gonna keep that momentum going all the way into 2024. They have so many releases planned. They're gonna be flooding the market, but there's some particular releases that everybody's really excited about. Of course, starting with these Jordan 4 bread re imagines is now february 1st and you guys already know we got no shock drop so it looks like your favorite youtuber sources happen to be wrong as well as myself as you guys know i guess february 1st would be the shock drop day but nothing happened and we're now about roughly two weeks away from the february 17th release date so let me ask everybody watching do you feel like nike is going to do an early drop maybe hit us with some exclusive access and salute to everybody that's been holding out on that resale price we're now seeing prices roughly you know going up to that 400 dollars range now that we got no shock drop so i believe if the rumors are true though and we see roughly like half a million pairs of these drop i think the price should definitely drop substantially once they drop so we'll see how nike actually plans to do that release but i got to give a salute to them because they got the whole sneaker game in a chokehold i haven't seen this much excitement for a sneaker since like let's say the lost and founds and they actually changed the materials on these as y'all know the reimagines they dished out the suede new buck durbuck finish for this leather finish and uh it seems like most sneaker heads are looking at it as an upgrade and just when you thought it was sweet about them jordan fours don't forget we got the military blues on the way which are a great pair we last got them back in like 2012 i remember i had the 2006 pair but what differs for these upgraded versions they got the nike air on the back versus the jump man so a lot of people will be excited and for the ogs that weren't really rocking with the new leather finish on the uh, bread reimagines these joints right here are going to be as true to form as you can get with the ogs there is a little slight controversy about this uh weird shade on these but i don't think that'll stop anybody from dropping the from grabbing these so it looks like nike is pushing these up these are expected to drop april 27th in full family size and so right when you get them bread fours you only got a little time to rest because the military blues are on the way and another big release from jordan brand you know jay balvin he's been doing his thing last year when he dropped those medellin sunset threes those were definitely a contender a lot of people had them up there for sneaker of the year and of course he's going to be following it up with the rio the black version it looks like those are now set to drop coming up may 22nd and this is going to be another hot release from jordan brand personally i'm kind of digging the medellin sunset pair a little bit better than this black version but expect these to be another hit the jordan 3 definitely a popular model people seem to love what jay balvin's done with them so expect these to be another hit and everybody's waiting to see if they drop a jay balvin 4 as well and then we got a big travis scott update so i remember they were saying travis scott wasn't gonna be dropping any jordan one lows well it turned out that was cap we got the uh green pair dropping i guess they call them olive green we got the woman's exclusive that blue and yellow joint and it looks like we now have confirmed this is a breaking update courtesy of z sneakerheads we have the pale vanilla pair so we got a mock-up right here this is not exactly what to expect but of course you guys go already know what it comes with these mock-ups joints are looking cool you know got some nice little light tones going on here expect these to be a big hit as all travis one lows are so we got the Jumpman jacks we got more travis one lows it's gonna be a big year for these travis scott releases unfortunately though most of us won't be able to cop these unless we're hitting the secondary market and then of course we got some big news from complex which they shared that the black toe reimagined jordan ones are actually going to feature the same material as the original so we're not getting any of that age vintage type of look but what they will be doing is replacing the wings logo with the air jordan tech sneakerheads seem to be completely outraged by this but i feel like that's just like a first initial reaction and once we get closer to the holiday release i think a lot of people's minds will change on these especially if they give the air jordan font like kind of an age faded out look if it's not super black and loud like that i still think it will be a great look and personally i'm rocking with the change and i feel like most of us will cover our pants over that anyway so i feel like this will be a smash hit you know not like the royals were last year with the suede finish i think people will still definitely be rocking with these remember it's an all-time classic and definitely a jordan 
OG. So we talked about all of these hype releases right here, you guys, but there's a particular like GR, you know, under the radar release that I'm definitely looking forward to. And it's actually the Jordan 9 Olive. Now this is a great OG pair right here. Personally, I've never owned a pair of Jordan 9s. We haven't seen these drop since 2002, so it's definitely long overdue. So I definitely want to check these out. This has always been a cool sneaker that I've had my eye on ever since I was a kid, but just never was able to grab them. And I definitely love like the camo type of feel that you get with this color scheme. So a great OG pair set to come back this holiday season. One that I'm definitely looking to grab. And hopefully, you know, they'll go under the radar, maybe under retail, and we'll be able to grab them for a steal. So just a couple of big releases that I look forward to from the Jordan brand as they continue to have the sneaker game in a chokehold. Let me know which one you guys are most excited about. And as I tried to warn y'all before, all you Jordan sneaker YouTubers, I'm coming for the crown in 2024. So if you enjoy the content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed today's video, help me out by dropping a thumbs up. So we're gonna wrap things up right here. Stay tuned, we got a huge Yeezy update coming on later today. So I appreciate y'all, I'll catch y'all in a little bit. I'm out y'all, love.